Hey, what's up, everybody watching this? Perhaps for the first time. Uh, so yeah, I, I've made a couple videos here, and um, I figured that it'd be like a good idea to like make an introduction. So um, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so yeah, basically, I'm Ark. I'm a half dark elf. I don't know if you can see these ears, but yeah, uh, I got some <laughs> interesting uh, ancestry, I guess. But um, yeah, basically, I have uh, like several different interests. I'm just reading down my like outline here. Like it turned more into like notes. <laughs> uh, so basically, I like more curious i don't know how to say exactly but more like i'm interested in like you know, teaching learning uh the learning sciences data science and statistics video games personality psychology linux open source software uh, technology in general and like four languages so i have like a really like <laughs> i have like a long list there of, of stuff oh yes but since this is probably most of like stuff on my channel, probably will be gaming for a while until I can, uh, you know, get some like uh, courage to and expertise to do like more educational stuff or really just something what whatever else uh, that people would be uh, like after, uh, you know. So yeah, basically. Oh my god, that felt so long. <laughs> I was hoping that this was gonna go faster, but uh, basically. Uh, if you're curious about the kind of maybe uh, video games uh, I like to play, I tend to focus more on like open world games, Metroidvanias, action RPGs, and like kind of more like the Musou games, like the Dynasty Warriors type stuff. Uh, I'm also single and first, sorry, single player, like uh, first third person shooters. I don't really do a, like a lot of co op. Um, at Nonograms, I don't know if you've heard of it, but like it's cross I guess I don't know how to pronounce it but uh, and like weird quirky games parkour games uh, adventure games simulation games puzzle logic RPGs like really a lot of stuff um, I, I mean like uh, like the first like couple or more what I focus on really I've, I've somehow played a lot of like open world and like Metroidvania stuff. So I don't know exactly how that happened, but uh, that's what it seemed to be. Uh, when I do venture out of that, also kind of like mech games where you're playing like, you know, giant like robot type things. I, I have like a couple of those. That's kind of also a trend. But um, when I do step out of that, like really I think the most uh, unusual one here is like a like kind of strategy RPGs, but more where there's like a story and where you can kind of like do like a lot of customization, um, kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics or like Troubleshooter, if you've heard of that. Also, kind of like Spectacle Fighters, like um, the Devil May Cry type things where you're just kind of like rushing around and uh, doing stuff. Uh, beyond that, <laughs> this is super long. <laughs> uh, beyond that, like some, if you're looking, if you're interested in like legacy like franchises, for uh, example, like um, I, I've played several like Ace Attorney games. Oh my god, <laughs> that was uh, man, my hands uh, not that's not what. Uh, Wild Arms, the East series, Saints Row, Just Cause, Armored Core, uh, basically those kind of stuff. Um, in general, just kind of like heroic games, games are chill and relaxing. Uh, I mean, it kind of like, it, 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 like as a general thing. Um, outside, really, uh, maybe connected to that. Uh, also kind of like, uh, I mentioned before that I'm like interested in like uh, data science and like statistics, so that does come up. It's kind of nice sometimes to have like, you know, the data like in front of you or on screen or compiled in some way, so um basically also like cases where you could get kind of like really um like overpowered in a game that that's also really interesting kind of like finding the 
best, the, like, route, not route, but kind of, like, the best solution for, like, the amount of effort to put in. Um, games where there's learning and where there's also kind of, like, where there's, like, a sense of movement. I don't know if that's, like, I can really explain, but kind of, like, where you feel that you're kind of, like, uh, moving around the map in some way. Um, so, yeah, that's, again, like, I think it's, like, the third time is that it's, like, pretty long. Uh, I end up writing a lot more on this, but, um, so probably what you won't uh, see me do as far as games would be horror games. I'm, like, I do not, <laughs> I do not like horror games. Uh, most fighting games, most racing games, most strategy games, like, anything that's kind of, like, racing, I guess, isn't totally fit with the other two in that case, but um, with fighting, it's like, you know, I, really just in general, I don't like, I'm not good at like spacing or fundamentals or like doing a lot of complicated inputs. I, with racing, it really just didn't, like, it doesn't really just catch my interest. I mean, like, for, if it's open world, <laughs> then I might, but like, if it's just regular racing, I'm not likely to pick that up. Strategy is like generally kind of like slow, a lot of planning, a lot of thinking. That's not something I'd normally do. Uh, like, similar to that, if, if I'm playing chess, go, shogi, that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm not good at that. Uh, overly violent games, like if it's like No More Heroes or Hotline Miami, I probably won't be able to finish those. Uh, all the games where you have to like be evil or do really like shady stuff, I probably won't be able to manage that. If it's dark and depressing, if it's like difficult, really frustrating, really unforgiving, I probably won't be able to get through it. Uh, it's similar to that if it's stressful, uh, if there's like a time limit, really just like a lot of stuff. But on the other hand, like if it's really slow and boring, it's not really fun either. And like some games where you like, you're always stuck being at like more or less a certain relative power, like compared to like you know, the challenges. I mean, I, I kind of gen tend to prefer games where you can like at least by the end kind of just like start uh, smashing through at least the the older stuff. I mean, of course, challenge is kind of like a ooh. <laughs> challenge is kind of like a thing that's kind of a it, you're expected to get harder as it goes on. But yeah, I I mean like I'm more of like a let me find a way to, like, um, smash through it. <laughs> so, moving on. Uh, what you probably can expect from me, um, I will try to present the best quality content I can. Uh, if you see here, I'm not really good at, um, like, art. <laughs> uh, this is something I just kind of, like, whipped up with, like, um, I think... Libre Office, Inkscape, something like that. Basically, uh, I I will try to do as as good as I can, but like it's not it's not going to be perfect. Um, typically with games, I'm like I I usually use like mods or like graphical upgrades. I mean, kind of keeping as much as I can within the spirit of the original stuff, but kind of like um, I mean, like it's not going to be usually like a completely unmodified playthrough. Um, as I think I mentioned before, uh, right now I'm doing video game playthroughs. Eventually I'd like to do some future educational stuff. I mean, not in like the boring sense, but kind of like in the, okay, you can learn from this type thing. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, I think in general I'm pretty nice, chill, I'm pretty relaxed, laid back, that kind of stuff. Um, you will, perhaps as a result, you will probably see me playing games on easier difficulties. Uh, generally, I think, like, I'll try normal, and then if I get, like, um, hit really hard by the game, um, I might just drop down to easy, because, uh, like I said before, like, I, I don't generally like to do, like, a lot of stressful stuff. Um, you will probably... <laughs> So basically, I have a pretty, I'd say pretty low self-esteem. You will probably hear me apologize a lot for basically everything. Um, but that's not too much of a problem. You'll probably also see some, like, 
general weirdness for me. I, I don't feel that um, <laughs> I, I do a lot of, um, well, I mean, how to say, kind of like there will be probably some stuff that's not like really normal that I do. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you can judge for yourself, I guess. Uh, probably uh, most, most, almost all <laughs> of the time um, I'm using like Linux. I'm rubbing my ear, but you can't see that on the stream. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes things don't do not work properly with Linux, um, and you may or may not see that. Um, I, I try my best, but like you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really great at at, at like m sometimes making software work. If that makes sense. Uh, generally, I mean, I guess I wrote a lot of notes, but generally, it, my commentary is more like unscripted. Uh, you might hear me go on random tangents, um, perhaps like farty here. Uh, there, there will be, there will very likely be plenty of unfinished projects. Um, I am, I'm not, I, I unfortunately have not finished everything I have touched. Uh, so yeah, uh, there will also probably be, perhaps related to that. Lots of uh, kind of pickiness, perfectionism. I, I I do kind of like to. I mean, I'm sure you're probably like, oh hey, look at that, uh, like background there. But I, I generally do try to like um, have high standards and make sure things are as good as I can uh, before submitting them. So yeah, there might be. Uh, well, I guess I'll go to that in a little bit, but. Um, you probably will see me playing more older or lesser known games. Um, generally, I, I think those kind of are the ones that are like not as not as represent because they're lesser known. I mean, kind of like I feel that they're kind of um, they they deserve uh, like to be done justice. I don't know if that's exactly the way to say, it, but kind of like more. I'd like to see more higher quality stuff from the, those those titles. Uh, la lastly, in this category, again, I'm sorry for going so. <laughs> uh, for something like that's been a trend for like my life somehow. Really, just generating unintentional comedy. Uh, it's really hard to put into words, but I guess I do things that people find funny. So, yeah, hopefully it won't be boring. Uh, what you probably should not expect <laughs> related to the above list. Um, consistent uploads or streams. Like, I, I went basically, I guess, about a year sporadically uploading things, I guess, up till now. So, uh, it has not been like oh, hey, you know, it's going to be one upload a week or one upload a month. I, I'll usually go, like, a really long time without uploading anything and then just, like, one day, you know, just start recording again. So, yeah. Um, the uploads or streams will probably be, well, the streams will probably be shorter since, like, there's only so much um, I can do at once. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not a marathon uh, streamer in, in most things that I could like reasonably think of. But for uploads, I, I generally do as much as I can do with like uh, the length, because I'm usually uploading like really big lossless files, so it takes a while. It's, the file size is pretty huge, so yeah. Uh, Basically, I'll try to make them, like, as long as I can so that it's not, like, overwhelming, but uh, they may be on the longer side. Even now, I've gone, like, 14 minutes of just talking. Um, probably, again, what you will not see, although I will try my best to, <laughs> to, to live up to it, but probably it's not going to be expert gameplay or high production value. Um, <laughs> I will do, I will definitely do dumb stuff in video games. You will probably see that. 
Uh, probably if you've seen my stuff already, you've probably already seen that I've done dumb, dumb stuff. But um, again, like I, I, I don't know anything about this whole thing at all. So um, I, I try to do my best as far as the production value, the editing, that kind of thing. But I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't have that skill set. So um, also, the playthroughs probably will have issues. Um, again, sometimes technology just doesn't want to work, and there'll be like glitches or just like things. <laughs> I mean, I guess if that's what you're, uh, like, if you're curious about that, um, that's also been a trend, perhaps because it's Linux. I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know the cause, but it's been coming up multiple times. And again, like I mentioned before, like, I'm generally not going to be playing the popular games and the, the hot new releases. So, like, uh, because, I mean, there's, like, hardware requirements, which I, I've, like, kind of improved on, but, like, Still, it's going to be like up against, you know, the latest standards and like again, um, again. But um, basically, money is also an issue. I hate. I got this the introduction, but uh, basically, I don't really have kind of the resources to be able to like get access to like all of that. So it'll generally be like older, lesser known, kind of uh, more on like, the free low cost side of things so yeah um uh what am i thinking oh yeah i, I guess the last thing if that's uh your cup of tea um if you're curious about uh, personality typology i, I don't really <laughs> I, I don't feel qualified to do content on that but uh if you're wanting to know about myself um uh, usually with like say Myers Briggs, I test between either INFP or ISFP, if that's a thing. <laughs> uh, the socionics, so socionics, am I pronouncing it right? Uh, it's like SEI. Um, let's see if I can remember how to say this. With Big Five, it's ooh, what is it? Reserved. Uh, basically, RCUAN. Uh, basically, somebody who's kind of like just chill, pretty calm. Uh, sometimes I can be kind of disorganized. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, I'm not really qualified to go into detail. Unfortunately, I have to like do some more research. Um, with the Enneagram, it's nine with a one wing. Uh, the, oh God, how do I say this? The instinct is sexual social i mean it's kind of a weird thing to say but and the the tri type is nine two five uh it's kind of something i've said like speaking code so bizarre uh with attitudinal psyche that's like one that again i know even less of but it's f-l-e-v I, I usually end up calling it flev i don't know if that's the way to say it but uh and i guess I, again Going into things I know even less of. Uh, with the Western Zodiac, I'm a Leo Sun, Virgo Moon, Leo Rising. And with the Eastern Zodiac, I'm like an Earth Dragon, which sounds kind of weird. But um, yeah, so hopefully that, God, that's almost like 20 minutes. <laughs> hopefully that gives you um, enough of a, um idea of what kind of person I am and what kind of content I'll probably be uh, putting out. So, yeah, uh, but definitely, you know what, uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, uh, that sort of thing. You can just kind of uh, leave them in, in the comments. <laughs> and I, I will uh, attempt to address those and respond. So, that's pretty much it for me. Again, that's like, almost 20 minutes of just me talking in front of like a static background but uh yeah um but moving on one thing beyond myself because i've talked probably a lot probably like enough about myself at this point um w one thing i would actually like to work towards i don't even know exactly how to say it but uh you may or may not that's me scratching my neck, even though it looks like I'm just like 
hitting one of those like thumb buttons. <laughs> um, basically, you may or may not know of Dark Side Phil or DSP, uh, as people call him. He he has got he's got a, a very infamous kind of trail following him, um, mostly pretty much almost entirely like he's doing. But um, beyond that, uh, basically, like, how to say, he seems to be, like, as far as his gameplay, somewhere between, like, the internet equivalent of a um, zero effort boss or a a warm-up boss, kind of like someone, kind of like a a first step kind of thing. So, really, with a lot of games, except for, like, Maybe fighting games. He's just like the general consensus is that he's pretty bad. Um, again, uh, I didn't really go too much in detail, but his personality is also kind of it's pretty toxic. He can like really just go after any anybody, anything, game developers, his fans, other players, and he'll just like he'll he'll get mad and he'll just like berate them like at length for like you know 30 40 50 minutes like an hour like he'll he'll go for like a long time and generally like the general consensus is that um his his production values are generally pretty pretty low um despite having done video game streaming for 15 years he still uh, has um, kind of like a lot of visible areas where he could like improve so uh, really it's like it, it's pretty low it's pretty low tier <laughs> it, 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 it's not very great I, I'll just say that uh, so basically um Building off of that, right? I was thinking of basically doing something of a project, almost, I, I guess, almost like a, a research project of sorts. Uh, basically, what I'm, plan- I'm planning, what I'd like to do at some point is kind of like have a gameplay comparison between like his gameplay and others. Kind of like, um, like basically, if you have, well, I guess I'll keep going. Um, but basically, yeah, kind of comparing his gameplay with other people somehow. Like, visually, like like a video of, like, footage of, of, of multiple people's um, gameplay theories. Excuse me. Um, basically, what I was planning on doing is kind of having, um, I'm not sure if, like, kind of, alternating it like kind of having his uh gameplay and then just switch over to someone else's or like having like a split screen type thing where everyone's like basically the game playthrough is running at once um I, i'm more leaning towards the split screen thing maybe with like uh kind of four people i'm thinking between four and six at once because it might be hard to keep track of what's going on but basically, um, well, to be frank, I don't really know where <laughs> to start. Um, I'm thinking of basically, like, so say we have, like, Phil's gameplay, and then I guess we can have, say, my gameplay, because, I mean, I can usually um, provide that pretty pretty, pretty easily. Uh, beyond that, kind of, like, basically having different skill levels there, so kind of, like, beyond that, maybe having, like... Um, an above average player and then like a pro player and then like one of those like tool assisted speed runs type thing because so kind of like seeing how different uh players will approach like the same obstacles to kind of get an idea of to, to create kind of like a, a learning experience you know so but I, right now i don't know like what kind of uh, performance indicators are like there i, I don't know really what Totally, what makes a gameplay? I'm sorry, a playthrough like good or bad? Uh, like as far as like putting it into like you know concrete, uh, hopefully kind of like uh, quantifiable things like kind of 
uh, numbers, hopefully, that I can, like, process and come up with some statistics. Um, so we probably, <laughs> whoever, probably myself at least, but, uh, like, whoever is involved, we'd probably have to control for, like, different playthrough lengths, play styles, difficulties, because I, I probably won't be, like, again, like I mentioned above, well, before, <laughs> Um, I won't be playing on hard, or like harder difficulties most of the time, so that may affect, of course, like how well someone does, how long they take, that sort of thing, so that would be something that uh, maybe for further discussion um, at some point. And again, like, I didn't really go into detail about what, uh, how DSP does things, but Basically, um, the reason I'm kind of wanting to do this is because I can kind of, I, I feel like DSP is more like a, more like a starting goal, kind of like a, sort of a, a barrier to entry in some sense of like streaming, kind of like, basically, if you can at least do as good as DSP, right, you can feel kind of more like confident about um like the stuff you're putting out if that makes sense uh for myself <laughs> i have quite a bit of a uh, you know imposter syndrome it's generally just not feeling qualified or good enough for like a lot of things even things that i like can say i'm like skilled in it's kind of been a trend for um quite quite a bit of my life so far so kind of like what i was I mean, besides, like, the whole learning from the, the playthrough itself, the playthroughs themselves, kind of, like, uh, I feel that being able to surpass, like, DSP's performance, uh, like, could be a way to, like, build confidence, like, say, for myself or someone else, kind of, like, more so, like, hey, you know what, I can do this, and you can also do this, kind of, like, a way to say, uh, like, maybe not anybody, but, like, you know, uh, people, like, of all different skill levels can do this, can do, like, gameplay, content creation, or, like, streaming, like, basically having, like, at least, if you're at least able to beat DSP, you can keep going. Um, I don't know, maybe that's the wrong kind of mindset, but that's kind of what I'm thinking, like, right now. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm also, because, I, like I mentioned, I don't know any. I don't really know much about actually doing, like, uh, research or kind of, like, these kind of things. So, um, basically, if you can offer advice, suggestions, uh, assistance, I'm, I'm definitely open to that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the end of, that's pretty much the end of the notes that I had. Um, yeah, so, basically, again, like I mentioned way, way before, probably... Uh, uploads will be sporadic. I, I don't. I don't think. I, I haven't really done up till now. But I don't think I'm gonna be like okay every day, like streaming, uploading stuff. Like it, it, it's. I, I have problems with like kind of motivation and doing stuff like consistently. So yeah. Um. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Um. If you stayed to the end, like almost half an hour. Holy cow. Uh, I, I do I do appreciate that. I, I thank you for taking your time out uh, to spin like this. Um, I, I will try this. Uh, hopefully, I can use this as an introduction. It, that's, it, it will depend on like kind of um, how what the size is. If I have to like separate the, the DSP stuff from my stuff, but um, other than that, yeah. Like, um, hopefully, you know, I, I can do more of these if that's what you're after and kind of just, like, improve. Uh, otherwise, it, it, it was very nice to um, introduce myself to you all. And hopefully, like, hopefully with my content, it can help you in some way. But even if not, like, you know, I, I do hope that you have a, a great rest of your whenever you're watching this. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I, I hopefully will be uh, 
be working well together for a while and uh, hopefully great things in the horizon. So, yeah, uh, see you then and until I guess the next one of these sort of things. All right, later.